Thank you for joining today's online travel presentation. Today, we're going to talk about some of the best steam trains in North America. These trains are full of history and take us to some of the best scenery in the country. Keep an eye out for polling questions during the presentation. And if you have questions during the webinar, please type them in the GoToWebinar comment box, and we'll hold them for our Q&A session at the end of the presentation. So let's get started. I am Lynn, and I'll be your moderator for this presentation, and I am pleased to introduce our presenter, Effie, one of our knowledgeable rail specialists. So now that you know us, we'd like to get to know a little bit about more about you in our first polling question. Have you taken a steam train? So let me launch this poll. And there it is. So please go ahead, select your response, yes or no, and we'll leave this open for about 20 seconds to let everyone lodge their response. Okay, well, it looks like just about all the votes are in. So I'm gonna close the poll. And Effie, it looks like 92% of our attendees have not had an excursion on a steam train. Well, you're all in for a treat because Effie is going to share some great highlights of these trains and some good itineraries where you can experience them. So let's move on. Before we jump into all of that great information, I wanted to share a little bit about us. Vacations by Rail is the leading rail vacations company in the United States, and we're the trusted authority on rail. Our collection of itineraries span the globe, and the cornerstone of each is a rail journey aboard at least one of the world's iconic trains. We are a great rail journeys company, which means we're backed by more than 45 years of experience in the specialty of global rail tours. We are a member of the National Tour Association, American Bus Association, and we are AARP's preferred rail provider. And in addition to an expansive collection of itineraries to destinations around the globe, you enjoy first-class customer care from your first call to your return from your trip. So why consider an itinerary that features steam trains? First and foremost, it's like taking a momentary step back in time. A ride on a steam train recalls a bygone era of rail travel, traveling aboard vintage rail cars and traversing iconic routes. Look out your train car, and in most cases, you'll be seeing the same untouched sites as travelers a century ago. You can also enjoy a balanced mix of modern and historic trains on some of these itineraries, as well as in-depth sightseeing of the area. And these trains are ideal for any travelers, whether you're a rail enthusiast or simply someone who enjoys unique adventures. So now I'm pleased to introduce Effie, who's going to share some of the great heritage trains and itineraries to whet your travel appetite. Take it away, Effie. Let's kick off our journey on America's steam trains with an excursion on the Redwood Forest steam train. In the 1880s, narrow gauge steam locomotives were used to haul giant redwood logs out of the mountains Roaring Camp Steam Engines date from 1890 and are among the oldest and most authentically preserved narrow gauge steam engines, providing regular scheduled passenger in America. Travel over trestles through towering redwood groves and up a winding narrow gauge grade to a summit of Bear Mountain as conductors narrate the history of Roaring Camp, the railroad, and the forest. The Redwood Forest Steam Train is best highlighted in our California Redwood Rails and Wineries Tour. It includes heritage railways, historic sites, beautiful cities, and some of the country's best wine. We even explore a national park as we set out and enjoy the beautiful state of California. This is our eight-day escorted tour, which means we're accompanied by a tour manager from start to finish. There are two departures this year, one in the spring and one in the fall. Both are great times to experience this part of California. Our journey begins in San Francisco, where we explore both the modern and historic sides of the city 
through the guided tours and memorable excursions. From San Francisco, we go on to Yosemite, but not before embarking on the first of three railway journeys, the Roaring Camp Railroad's Redwood Forest Steam Train. In Yosemite, a guided tour of the park allows us to experience the grandeur of nature and the Yosemite Mountain Sugar Pine Railroad gives us yet another perspective. It is after Yosemite that we been, begin the culinary portion of our journey with visits to wineries in Napa, Sonoma, and Heldsburg. Sip and savor the spectacular food and wine. An extra special highlight is a ride through the vineyards of Napa aboard the Napa Valley Wine Train, which makes this journey even more memorable. Our trip concludes in Sonoma and a transfer back to San Francisco is also included. On the following slide, we've got some beautiful images highlighting this trip. Clockwise from top left, the first image is Napa Valley Wine Train. This is a great excursion which takes us back to the golden age of rail travel. This 36 mile route begins in downtown Napa and takes passengers to Helena and back. As the train rolls through the landscape, sites include rolling vineyards and grand estates. On board the train, the Mahogany Lines lounge car is the perfect place to enjoy the sights. And there are four onboard kitchens in which chefs prepare gourmet meals paired with wines and several of the region's best wineries. Moving along, other images are the Sonoma Vineyards, the California Redwoods, Yosemite, and bottom left is San Francisco. Here, you'll see some of the highlights included in this tour. We have the three rail excursions. We visit the Railtown 1897 State Historic Park. This is in Jamestown, California, and is a designated California historical landmark. It includes vintage steam trains, a working roadhouse, and a timeless Sierra railway shops. Another highlight is the J. Richards Winery. This is a family owned and operated grape farming and wine production located in the northern end of Alexander Valley in Sonoma County. Vineyards have been planted over four decades, augmenting the original 1908 Zinfandel wines. Now, let's travel across the country to the New England and the rail cars of the Essex steam train. Making a 12 mile round trip journey, the Essex steam train offers a glimpse at rural New England life. The vintage locomotive sets off from Essex train station and pulls its coaches deep into the heart of the Connecticut River Valley. Along the way, passengers will see the charming towns of Deep River and Chester and get a look at the unspoiled beauty of Selden Neck State Park. In all, this journey takes a little bit over an hour. The train is best showcased in uh, the fall and you can enjoy it in our Fall Colors Scenic Trains and Martha's Vineyards Tour. This is our 10-day escorted tour that begins and ends in Boston with four departures in the autumn. We start this great fall itinerary in Boston where you have some time to see the sites both on your own and with a scheduled sightseeing tour. We move into Maine by motor coach where Portland and Bath await. Here we enjoy a scenic cruise on the Kennebec River and the Maine Maritime Museum. Our travels continue to New Hampshire, where some of the best fall foliage in the United States is visible from the Conway Scenic Railroad. A scenic cruise a lake along Lake Winnipesaukee allows us to take in the more of the red, yellow, and orange brilliance before we move on to Sturbridge, Massachusetts. Our trip rounds off with a great dose of history in Old Sturbridge Village and a ride aboard the vintage Essex steam train, which is followed by a cruise down the Connecticut River on a restored riverboat gazing out upon the rocky shoreline and the colorful trees. 
The final rail journey of the trip is an unforgettable ride aboard the Cape Cod Central Railroad's elegant dinner train and sightseeing throughout the famed destination of Martha's Vineyards. Um, on the following slide, some great scenes you'll see in this tour include Mystic Seaport from top left, uh, right Martha's Vineyard, the Kankamagus Highway, the Conic Scenic Railroad Station, and bottom left, we've got Boston. Again, here we've got some of the top highlights. We have the three rail excursions, the Boston City Tour, and Martha's Vineyard, uh, Massachusetts Island. It sits in the Atlantic, just south of Cape Cod, and encompasses harbor towns, lighthouses, sandy beaches, and farmland. It's accessible only by boat or air and is included in this tour. Now, we dip south to the Smoky Mountains and our next steam train in Tennessee Valley Railroad's Somerville Steam Special, described as a rolling time machine and a moving museum, the Tennessee Valley Railroad offers a unique look at Tennessee's history. Passengers discover tidbits of information about the region, wonderful railway artifacts, and interesting stories as they travel through the mountains. The railroad employs a fleet of vintage steam and diesel locomotives, some of which date back to the early 1900s. The Somerville Steam Special follows a historic route from Chattanooga's Grand Junction Depot to Somerville, Georgia and return. The train skits the Chickamauga, Chickamauga and Chattanooga Military Park and then passes through the small Georgia towns of Chickamauga, Rocky Spring, Lafayette, Tryon, and finally Somerville. This is a full day excursion and fall colors and scenic highlight are the scenic highlight of this journey. This train is woven into our Smoky Mountain Rail Adventure Tour where we experience some of the best sites of Tennessee and the Smoky Mountains. This is our nine day uh, rail tour and begins in Nashville where incredible music history comes to life. After some impressive sightseeing and experiences, like a behind the scenes tour of the Grand Old Opry, we move on to Chattanooga where we embark on the first of several steam train rides through the mountainous landscape. From Chattanooga, Pigeon Forge awaits your exploration. Your days here are spent surrounded by the beauty of nature with a stream, steam train ride along the Tuckasegee River and a half day tour through Great Smoky Mountain National Park. The tour pass presses um, are as you arrive in Asheville, North Carolina with a tour of the Biltmore Estate in free time to pursue shops, art galleries, and unique eateries throughout the town. Um, on the next slide are some of the images highlighted for this tour. The top left is the city of Chattanooga. Moving clockwise, we have a stunning view of the Smoky Mountains, followed by the Great, Great Smoky Mountain Railroad. With routes dating back to the 1880s, the Great Smoky Mountains Railroad offers enriched excursions through North Carolina's beautiful mountains. The railway operates both diesel and steam engines on two separate routes. The route we take on this trip is along the Tuckasegee River. It's a four hour round trip journey from Bryson City to Dillsboro, North Carolina. On the route, enjoy the scenic vistas from the panoramic windows of the fully restored rail cars as the train travels along the river towards Dillsboro. There's a layover in Dillsboro, which provides a chance to explore the shops and galleries of this tourist hotspot before returning to Bryson City. Our photo journey continues with this image of Lookout Mountain, 
which we travel up aboard the century-old Incline Railway. This is one mile ride up the mountain and offers stunning views from a large panoramic windows. And the last two images are Nashville and finally Biltmore Estates. Listed here, we have some of the highlights for our Smoky Mountain Rail Adventure, starting with three scenic rail excursions and ending with the Biltmore Estate excursion. The Biltmore Estate is a historic house museum and tourist attraction in Asheville, North Carolina. Biltmore House, the main residence in a mansion built for George Washington Vanderbilt II between 1889 and 1895 is the largest privately owned house in the United States. It is 1,700, 1,700, 926 square feet. Wow, that's cozy. Um, lastly, we circle back to Colorado for the ride on the Durango and Silverton narrow gauge railroad. This is probably one of the most more popular steam trains in North America, following approximately 45 miles of track along the Animas River. The Durango and Silverton narrow gauge railroad offers a look at the lesser seen nooks and crannies of the Colorado Rockies. The journey begins at the historic 1882 train depot in Durango and climbs over 3,000 feet of elevation before arriving in the mountain valley town of Silverton. Along the way, spectacular views of waterfalls, forests, wildlife, and mountain peaks are visible from picture windows and open air cars. While the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad is included in several itineraries, ranging from Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta by rail to beautiful Colorado Rail and Drive, this is one of the traveler's favorites. Immerse yourself in gold rush lore and relish the secluded scenes of the Rocky Mountains as you explore Colorado's rugged terrain aboard five heritage railroads, including the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. This is all packed into one well-planned itinerary, our Colorado Rail experience. A journey through the untamed beauty of Colorado is what's in store in our eight-day escorted tour through the Rocky Mountains. We discover the scenic gems of wild and wonderful mountain sites on five different train excursions. The Georgetown Loop Railroad, the Leadville, Colorado and Southern Railroad, the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad, the Cumbras and Toltec Scenic Railroad, and the Royal Gorge Route Railroad. While we ride the rails, Railroad experts and knowledgeable guides introduce us to the mining and railway history of the state. Our journey also includes a momentous excursion to the summit of Pikes Peak by motor coach and a visit to the awe-inspiring Garden of the Gods. Um, in the following screen here, we've got some images from the trip, starting on the top left, we have the resort of Breckenridge, where we stay for two nights. Moving clockwise, this is the Cumbers and Toltec Scenic Railroad, a great rail journey offering another authentic steam train experience. This three-foot narrow gauge railroad, designed as a National Historic Landmark, follows 64 miles of track between the towns of Chama, New Mexico, and Antonito, Colorado. Along the way, the San Juan Mountains, Conejos Valley, Toltec Gorge, and many species of wildlife are visible. The journey crosses the New Mexico-Colorado border 11 times and offers an experience to remember as the train crosses the Cascade Creek Trestle, 137 feet in the air. Below is the Royal Gorge Route Railroad, which follows the Arkansas River through Colorado's Royal Gorge, offering water vistas and views of stunning 1,000-foot granite cliffs. Rounding up this photo montage 
is the stunning Garden of the Gods and unique Georgetown Loop Railroad, which connects the towns of Georgetown and Silver Plume. This railway dates back to the late 1800s and offers a look at the silver and gold mining past of the Colorado Rockies. Here again, we have listed some highlights of the Colorado Rail Experience Tour. Pikes Peak is the highest summit of Southern Front Range of the Colorado Mountains in North America. The ultra prominent 14,115 foot Fortinier is located in Pikes National Forest, 12 miles west of Colorado Springs. Um, Another highlight is the Garden of the Gods tour. This is 1,300 acres of sandstone formations, approximately 300 towering sandstone rock formations against a backdrop of snow-capped Pikes Peak and brilliant blue skies. Um, and now back to Lynn with question number two. Thanks so much, Effie. Let me get our next polling question launched. It is, what steam chain destinations are you most interested in? So we have some options here that range from the Colorado Rockies uh, to the Smoky Mountains and a few destinations in between, which Effie talked to us about. Um, so select the one option that interests you the most, and we'll leave this open for just a little bit longer so everyone can participate. All right, it looks as though most of our attendees have replied, so I'm going to close the poll, and it looks as though more than 65% have expressed interest in the Colorado Rockies. So those are some really magnificent rail experiences. If you'd like to learn more about our rail vacations, um, including the ones that Effie shared with us today, you can request a Vacations by Rail brochure by calling 877-929-7245, or you can visit us online at vacationsbyrail.com to request or download our brochure. To make a reservation, or if you have any questions about rail vacations, you can contact any of our rail specialists toll free at 877-929-7245. If you're lucky, you may even get to speak with Effie. Aww. <laughs> so now we're at the Q&A portion of our session, and we do have a few questions, Effie. Um, so I'm just gonna dive right into some. Um, First is, how long are the steam train excursions? Well, um, it looks like they're gonna vary by tour, obviously, and by train. Um, I think one of the shortest ones we said was a little over an hour, and some of the longer ones were up to seven hours. The Cumbers and Toltec is about six and a half hours and includes lunch. So if you're interested in a particular tour and want more information, just don't hesitate to give us a call. Perfect. Um, what class of service are we traveling in on these steam trains? Again, it'll vary by the train, but most of them will be coach class of service. Um, I believe the Royal Gorge Route Railroad, we have the Vista Dome. Wonderful. Um, can I upgrade any class of service on the train? For all of our escorted tours, no, because we have block space and we all sit together as a group. Um, but on our beautiful Colorado Rail and Drive, because this is an independent package and you're traveling with whoever you're traveling with, we can definitely upgrade uh, that particular tour. Okay, great. Um, the next question, is the Durango and Silverton train available to take as part of a vacation where I travel on my own, not with a group? Um, again, we could do that on the beautiful Colorado Rail and Drive, yes, but most of our other tours will be escorted, so you will be part of a group. 
Okay. So we have time for one more, and, and it's a favorite. We get asked this a lot. Is luggage handling included on my tour? Definitely on all of our escorted tours that we discussed, but not the beautiful Colorado Rail and Drive because it's independent. All right, wonderful. Well, that's all the time we have for questions today. But if your question wasn't answered, don't worry about that. A rail specialist will receive it and be in touch to ensure it is answered. So that wraps up our online presentation for today. Thank you so much for attending and have a wonderful day.